This is the TCAB or 10 Ready practice test for integrated math one. We're still in subpart one, which means no calculator. Question number six. The balance of an account after t years can be found using the expression 6,000 times 1.02 times t, where the initial balance was 6,000. By what percent does the account increase annually? So here's the thing. If I want to show an increase or a decrease, in a, in a number by a percentage. Like if I want to increase 100 by 5%, I can't just multiply it by 5% or 0 0.05. Because if I do that, it'll just tell me that it's 5. But that doesn't, sh that just shows me the amount that it increases, not the new amount after I add it on. So showing me, uh, what the new value is is my ultimate goal, which means I need to keep the 100 in here somewhere. I need to keep it 100. Um, so that's a component that's necessary for me to get to the 105, which I know is, in that case, increasing by 5%. The thing about uh, an exponential relationship, by the way, is that the next time that you do it, you'll do 105 by 5%. And the exponential uh, formula set up here actually allows you to do that. It's like kind of running a computer code over and over again, where in this case the t value would be the number of times you run the code, but the initial value changes after each run, but it can calculate that all at once. But back to this point I'm trying to make here. I need to have something that shows me, okay, it's 100 plus this, so what we do is we say 100 times itself, so or 100 times 1, so to give it itself, plus that point oh five, and then we'll combine those together sometimes and if it's annually anyway this is what it's going to look like so I'll combine this together and I get 1.05 look familiar and then I'll do it by T now just on a total aside that doesn't matter here very much if I'm doing it like say monthly then I'm going to have to adjust my percentage because I want to apply that percentage the uh, percentage change is always an annual rate, but if I'm doing it monthly, I have to spread that 0 0.05 over 12 months. I just apply the code more often, so that's why I have t times 12. So if you see that set up later, that's where that comes from. It's I need to apply the percentage evenly over the number of months, if it's months, if it's days, it's 365, and it's, if it's uh, continuous, then you it's a whole other, that's a whole other thing I have to deal with. Anyway, uh, that's what that means. Back to our original statement. You'll notice that 1.05 looks exactly like 1.02. Well, that was because I did 1 plus 0.05, so what I'm going to just do 1.0.02, and this was the same as 5%, so I'm pretty comfortable saying that this is probably 2%, and since they want to know what the annual rate of increase is, it would be C two percent. And that's all really that you have to do. By the way, if that number was less than one, like say it was 0.98, you were doing uh, 6,000 times 0 0.98, that would mean instead of doing one plus the number, you did one minus 0.02. So this would show a uh, decrease or a depreciation in value of two percent per however, whatever number of times and whatever length of time that you decide to set up. So there you go.